Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to react to Dave Chappelle. This one says, uh, gay people can be racist. Question mark. So, as always, you know what to do. Please like the video, comment on what you wanna see next, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's get into it. And thank you for being here. I came here tonight because this body of work that I've done on Netflix, I'm going to complete. All the questions you might have had about all these jokes I've said in the last few years, I hope to answer tonight. And I'd like to start by addressing the LBGTQ community director. Is it LBGT or LGBT? I want every member of that community to know that I come here tonight in peace. <laughs> and I hope to negotiate the release of the baby. Okay. What happened to the baby? Sad, sad, sad story. The baby was the number one streaming artist until about okay. a couple weeks ago. He took a nasty spill on stage and said some uh, said some wild stuff about the LBGTQ community uh, during a concert in Florida. Uh, now you know I go hard. Even I saw that shit. I was like, God, <laughs> Hold on, what did he say? Now I want to I want to see what you said. Come on, man. Ooh, he pushed the button, didn't he? He pushed the button, punched the LBGTQ community right in the AIDS. Can't do that. Can't do that. Basically, those are the only people in our society who are untouchable. You cannot touch them in any way, shape, or form. But I do believe, and I'll, and I'll make this point later, that, that the kid made a, a very egregious mistake. I will acknowledge that. But, you know, a lot of the LBGTQ community doesn't know the baby's history. He's a wild guy. He once shot a nigga and killed him oh. in Walmart. Oh, this is true. Google it. The baby shot and killed a nigga in Walmart in North Carolina. Nothing bad happened to his career. This speaks volumes, guys. Oh my god, this speaks volumes. You can kill someone and nothing happens to you. But you say one thing. One thing. And your whole career is done. You are finished. They kick you out of school. You lose your job, your social media, everything. This speaks volumes. Do you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> In our country, you can yeah. shoot and kill a nigga, but you better not hurt a gay person's feelings. <laughs> and this is precisely the disparity that I wish to discuss. I see the disparity that I wish to discuss. Okay, so the video stopping and just the audio content is from the guy who uploaded the video. So this is not coming from me. Just FYI. And we are here for the comedy, not for the imagery. I have a question for the audience. And this is a real question. I'm not joking around. Is it possible that a gay person can be racist? Is that even a question need to be asked? Do you really think so? Of course it's possible. Look at Mike Pence. Oh, I don't know who that guy is, so... No, I'm guessing, but I bet you he's gay. 
And he's not Pride Parade gay either. He's, he's sad gay. <laughs> Feel bad for him. He looks like one of them gays that what? praised about him. <laughs> Jesus, please take these dirty feelings out of my heart. <laughs> please, Jesus, take <laughs> these buttholes ugly to me. <laughs> tasting these dicks. You guys are confusing the emotions. You think I hate gay people, and what you're really seeing is that I am jealous of gay people. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm not the only black person that feels this way. We blacks, we look at the gay community, and we go, God damn it, look how well that movement is going. <laughs> look how well you are doing. And we've been trapped in this predicament for hundreds of years. How the fuck are you making that kind of progress? I can't help but feel like if slaves had baby oil and booty shorts, we might have been free a hundred years sooner. You know what I mean? Not back in the days. Back in the days, that was not that. This is only for modern time. Back in the days, I would have even been worse for slaves. It was like, I want everybody to get up on them floats. Get your bodies good and shiny. I don't hate gay people at all. I respect the shit out of you. Well, not all of you. I'm not that fond of these newer gays. Too sensitive, too brittle. Those aren't the gays I grew up with. I miss them old school gays, nigga. Them it's not only the gays who are too sensitive one. right now. Everybody is too sensitive. Every single one, man. Yo, it's crazy. Like you cannot say anything. There's nothing you can say. You hurt my feelings. This is not politically correct. There's so many rules to follow. Oh my God. Ones that I respect. They didn't take shit from anybody. They fought for their freedom. I respect that shit. I'm not even gay. And I want to be like a stonewall nigga. Them old school gangster gays, them glory hole niggas, them the ones I like. These new gays don't even know what the glory hole no, is. What is. What is the glory hole? It's a hole in the wall. The gay contract is built. You want to know why they put that hole in the wall? I'll tell you. There's no nice way to say it. Because when they want to have some fun, they will put their penises in that hole. And hope for the best. What? I respect that shit. It's a lot of courage on both sides of that hole, nigga. I'm not even gay. I'm gonna try. <laughs> so, Dave, what if he's what if if there's a guy on the other side? What do you say about that? What if Martin Luther King had to integrate the glory hole? <laughs> I don't care if it's black lips back there, white lips back there. A mouth is a mouth. A warm, wet mouth. <laughs> going this way. is so wrong so many ways. But let's continue. I got in a fight. Almost got in a fight. It's complicated. I was in a bar in Austin with my wife, and 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 uh, it was during COVID, and we, and and uh, a woman came to our table, and she was maskless. And this bitch came over, no mask. <laughs> all H words. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Droplets was coming out of this bitch's face. We all covered our drinks. Oh, bitch, what are you doing?
Now, I look over the table that she came from, and I peep game. The men at the table were filming me. This happens when you're famous. People will come over and try to rattle your cage and get you to say something stupid or dumb so that their buddies can film People don't have it anything available. to do with their lives. Otherwise, why are you going out of your ways to look for faults in people? Just one slip up and your entire life work is done. Video of you embarrassing yourself. And clearly, I said, this is what's happening. And these dumb motherfuckers thought that it was my first rodeo. <laughs> Sadly, it worked. I ran right over there. I said, I pointed right in the camera. I said, You're a bitch ass nigga for doing this to me. And the dude was shocked that I said it. He said, oh. and when he did like this, I said, oh. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. Yeah, you good. had messed up big, Dave Chappelle. You had messed up big. Yeah, you know how I talk. I call everybody a bitch ass nigga. You know what I mean? But that's not a right thing to do if they're gay, you know what I mean? And, and, and now I was in trouble. And not only that, the motherfucker was huge. He stood up, he was towering over me. He must have been 6'5", a big white, <laughs> head, Texas homosexual. This nigga was ready to fight. And he started barking on me, but I stood my ground. I wasn't scared. How could I be scared? This motherfucker's shirt was tied up in a knot like this. I'm like, oh, fuck this guy. Let's go, nigga, let's go. I thought we were gonna come to blows. I, I was ready, I was ready. And, and, and then, and then, right when you think we would fight, guess what he did? He picked up his phone and he Why? the police. And this, this thing I'm describing is a major issue that I have with that community. Gay people are minorities until they need to be white again. being very brutally honest so we can solve this problem i'm telling you right now a black gay person would have never done that to me because a black gay person knows when the police shows up they're not gonna care who called them they don't show up like which one of you niggers is clifford <laughs> we're all clifford yeah man this is a problem with the world we're living in people are too sensitive you cannot say anything a single tweet can end your entire career you can have a, an interview of two hours and you sleep up. You say one thing that they think is, you know the words, the ists and ism and phobias. I can, I don't think, I don't even think, I don't even think I can say them on YouTube. But yeah, one single thing can mess up your entire work, your entire life work, entire life work for 34 years. You say one thing that one person think it's offensive and they go out, out, of, out of their ways try to destroy you but hey this is the world we're living in so what can we do hopefully 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 change is on the way hopefully but you never know all right guys that is it for today's video if you have some more videos like this please you know what to do on the comments down below and a lot of you guys are not subscribed majority more than 90 percent of you guys are not subscribed Please subscribe to the channel and let's grow together. Until next time, peace out.